Club. Welcome back to the Good Day Book Club. And today's edition, the book is called Katie Up and Down the Hall, the true story of how one dog turned five neighbors into a family, written by Glenn Plaskin. The book is recently out in paperback. Glenn and one of Katie's descendants joins us. Lucy, how are you? Good morning. How are you today? Lucy Terrific. in the sky with Swarsky diamonds. She just rolls out of bed looking this way. Doesn't have to Lucy do anything. Lucy has taken <laughs> a, a loving to me this morning. Do you notice that? She seems I think she smells my, my Lulu. I can see she yeah. likes you. Glenn, Only welcome. My dog. Welcome to the show. Um, Tell us about the story. Well, the book is about one dog who had the power to turn five completely unrelated strangers uh, in our apartment building into literally a family. There was a little boy down the hall who was three years old who had no mom, a, a gay dad. And on the other end of the hall, there's an older woman in her 80s who had had cancer as a young woman and could never have children. And here it is so late in life, and she finds a little boy who becomes her grandson. Aww. and and. She becomes his grandmother, and she becomes my confidant, and the dog is the leader of the pack, and she runs up and down this hall, and we leave our doors open, and she's constantly pushing open doors with her paws, insinuating herself into everything. She sits at the dining table when we're eating. She eats off a fork. You hold the corn she on the... She eats, eats <laughs> off a fork. Bad dog. Come on, Bad. You hold the corn on the cob for her. She goes from side to side <laughs> like a typewriter. She, would use, she learned how to use the remote control, and she would always, of course, stop at the food channel. <laughs> and mm -hmm. um, she even sat at the typewriter, and I taught her how to put her paws on the keys, and she got the fact that when she put her paw down, uh, a letter would appear. Uh, Beautiful. So what happened to Katie? Well, over the years, as often happens, you know, dogs go through many stages just like people do, and the story has a very happy first half, and in the second half, there's a great lesson in it, because even though we experience loss, uh, my dog Katie gets older, Pearl gets older, the little boy grows up and moves away. Um, one, one of the messages of the book is that a family is anything you want it to be. Human, canine, young, old. It's not just your biological family. And especially in cities, you know, where people so often feel alienated or alone, a dog has this amazing power to bring people together into a real family. And I always tell people that dogs can't talk, but if you look into their eyes, they do have a soul. They have mm -hmm. sensitivities, they have intuitions, they have feelings. And when my older friend Pearl was uh, dying in the book, uh, Katie just lays on top of her chest and, you know, it's very sensitive. She knows. Yeah. So. Now, is it true this book is going to be optioned into a movie? Yes. The actress Valerie Harper. Oh. Rhoda. Rhoda. Want, who looks fantastic yeah. at her eight, but she wants to play the role of the older w woman, the grandmother, so right. she and her husband did option the book as a movie, and now they're in the process of um, shopping it. So if there's any TV networks out there who want it. That's terrific. And guess who can play Katie? You're available Lucy. there. <laughs> and this is a New York story again. This happened uh, in a building in Battery Park City, right? Yes, uh, right on the water. And uh, the building has, you know, hundreds of people in it, but this dog was so incredibly sociable yeah, that I can see. Um, she's looking for new friends right now. She became part of the family. Now, what happened with 9-11? Uh, was... Well, this is actually the first book ever written by somebody who actually lived there about what happened on that day. And on that day, um, the building was evacuated and all the residents were told to get to the water where police boats would come and take you to New Jersey. And, but as we were trying to get to the water, that's when the towers fell. And the dog, my dog at that point was 14 years old, and she couldn't um, breathe. The, the, um, the black dust had impacted in her nose, and I asked this fireman who was running by if he could help us, and he blew water into her nose, and it came out, and she was fine. Wow. And so we did get past that, and as you know, um, the neighborhood revived itself completely and now if you walk along there on a summer day you know you see loads of kids right and, and plenty of dogs hundreds of dogs by the yeah. way your dog is sniffing all over our studio i have a funny <laughs> feeling she wants to leave us a little present oh no she's trained right <laughs> i she tell her that. every time we what go into think? a bank no deposit <laughs> <laughs> One of the funnest parts of the book is, yeah. a, is a chapter called Prancing with the Stars, where we go to meet all these movie stars. That was my job at the time. I used to work for the Daily News, and I t took her one day to visit Leona Helmsley, and Leona, when we got there, wouldn't let her out of the limousine. 
And I said, but why not? She said, I don't want her to go in the gardens. And then she looked down at her and said, she'd make a nice coat. Oh. Oh. And then one day we went to Katherine Hepburn's house for lunch with Peter Jennings. And I told Katherine Hepburn that I named the dog after her. And she looked down at her and she said, hmm, small compliment, a midget me. <laughs> <laughs> do, do that one more time. Oh, I can't. <laughs> Mr. Plaskin, small compliment, a midget me. A midget me. And she threw her out. She didn't want her to stay for lunch. So we, uh, had, our, we had our experiences. What's this sweet book? It's called Katie Up and Down the Hall. Glenn Plaskin, so nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Thank too. you, sir, very much. All right, Lucy, you okay over there? Lucy. She'll be back later after lunch, maybe. There she comes. <laughs> Come on, Lucy. All right. Yay. Good day. He's coming right back. Thank you, Lucy. Nice to see you. Thank you, you. Glenn, very much. Nice to see nice you, Nice to Glenn. meet you. Optimum. Get the best TV, internet, and phone, plus a whole lot more, only from Optimum.